this video, I'm going to walk you through how to make an easy crochet dishcloth, even with a little loop for drying. This is easy to do. I'm going to walk you through it every stitch of the way. Now the finished dishcloth measures about six inches across and six inches tall, and it's a quick little one to make up, and you can experiment with different colors and striping combinations, and there's all kinds of cotton yarn colors out there. We're gonna talk about the supplies a little bit more too. So let's get started. For this project, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, which is a large yarn needle with a, an eye that you can get yarn through instead of thread. We're gonna be using a six millimeter J crochet hook, and we're gonna use some cotton dishcloth yarn. Now my dishcloth that I'll be making with you is gonna be striped. So uh, I picked three colors that I like. This is a white and aqua, and kind of like a, a soft pink color. And you can really use any cotton dishcloth yarn. There's tons of it in every craft aisle and craft store, different brands. The brand I'll be using, in case you're wondering, is called Scrubby Smoothie by Red Heart. It's a very soft cotton dishcloth yarn. And um, each ball of this is 153 yards, but we're gonna use very small amounts from each ball. In fact, if you have three full balls of this, you could get many dishcloths out of this. So we're gonna just use small amounts from each one. But I have a white, an aqua, and a pink that we'll be using. And feel free to change up the colors. You can really get creative with this. And a lot of the cotton yarns out there are also um, have some variegated and self-striping colors as well. So you can really get creative. And these make lovely gifts. So let's get started. We're gonna begin with the aqua, and I'm gonna sort of slide these out of the way till later um, when we have um, a color change that we need to do. So grab your hook, and I'm gonna zoom way in so you can see what I'm doing here. We're gonna use some really easy stitches, nothing fancy, and we're just gonna work in easy rows, okay? Now, to begin, what you need to do is put a slip knot on your hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, like that and kind of pinch it with your thumb. Bring the yarn behind the loop like that. See, I'm holding it with my middle finger just to hold it in place. Then you're gonna reach in with your hook into that loop and bring up that middle piece like that and then grab the two bottom pieces and tighten. And then you can sort of like open it up to tighten it against your hook and that's it. That's how you put a slip knot on your hook. So once you have your slip knot on your hook, then you're going to make a starting chain. That's what you build everything off of. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around your hook and pull it through that loop, just like that. That's one chain. Now let's do it again. Wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it through the loop. That's two, three, we're gonna do 20 of these, okay? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So here is our starting chain, and we're gonna be working into these chains for our first row, okay? So then what we're gonna do is in the third chain from our hook, so this loop here never counts, we're gonna count one, two, three chains right there, and we're gonna work something called a half double crochet into that third chain from the hook. So to do that, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert the hook into that third chain from the hook, wrap the yarn around the hook again, bring up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through all three of those loops, okay? That is the half double crochet stitch. It's a very easy stitch. Okay, we're gonna do that in every chain across, okay? So let's do a few nice and slow together and then we'll pick up some speed. Wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into the next chain. Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring up a loop. Wrap the yarn around the hook again, Bring it through all three loops. Okay, let's do the next one. Wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into the chain, wrap the yarn around the hook, bring up a loop. Three loops are on the hook, wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through all three loops. Okay, we're doing this all the way across. 
okay, let's pick up a little bit of speed. Yarn around hook, into the chain, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, all three loops. Yarn around hook, into the chain, yarn around hook, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, all three loops, okay? Moving right along, let's do some more. Yarn around hook, into that chain, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, all three loops. Okay, let's do a couple more. Bring through all three loops. Bring through all three loops. I'm just doing this all the way across. Okay, this is an easy beginner stitch that is also um, gives it some sturdiness, but also um, because we're using a little bit larger of a hook than the yarn recommends, it's going to help it dry too. It's very soft and we'll let some air through it. Okay, so go through here into the next chain. We just have a few chains left. And we're just working those half double crochet stitches in each chain across. One more thing I wanted to mention is that you can back up this video at any time and rewatch any part of it. There's also a slow motion feature, so you can slow this way down. And my voice might sound kind of funny, but if it helps to see it really, really slow, please definitely feel free to do that. All right, now we're at the very last chain. So do the same thing in the last chain. Okay, now this tail here, we're gonna deal with that later. We're not gonna worry about that right now. And row one is complete. Okay, you should have a nice little strip of half double crochet stitches. Now let's move on to row two. And row two is the row that you'll repeat for the rest of your project. Um, now, if you want to change colors like I am, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. But for now, we're going to stick with the aqua for a couple of rows. So let's learn how to do row two, and then you'll know how to really finish the rest of your dishcloth. So what we're going to do is uh, create something called a turning chain. The turning chain gives it height and helps you move on from one row to the other. Okay, so to do the turning chain, we're going to chain two in this case. One, two, and then we're going to flip our work over. And let's talk about stitches. We're gonna be working into the stitches this time instead of the chains. Now you can see all the half double crochets we made in the last row we did. And in every half double crochet is a loop at the top. Okay, see these little loops at the top? And if you look at the top view, they look like Vs. When you insert your hook into a stitch, you wanna make sure you get both of those loops from that V, okay? So let's work our first stitch. We're going to do the half double crochet once again. Wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into that first stitch, that first loop you see on the row. Wrap yarn around hook, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops. Okay, and that's all you do. Let's do a few more for row two and then we'll kind of move on our own and move a little faster. Okay, let's work a half double crochet into the next stitch. Make sure you're picking up both of those loops of that V when you look at it from the top. Now, let me show you this. This is, I'm glad this happened. Uh, sometimes your yarn splits, especially cotton yarn because it's just kind of twisted together. If you need to take a stitch out, if you don't like the way it looks, give it a nice little tug. So you just have a loop and you're at your last stitch you worked. Put your hook back in there. Give it a little uh, snug tightening and you can do it again, okay? Never feel like you can't undo something, okay? So let's work a half double crochet in that stitch. And sometimes yarn splits, it's very, very common, okay? And we're just gonna work a half double crochet in every stitch across. This is the same stitch we did for the whole last row as well. We're just working into these stitches this time, these little loops at the tops of all of our stitches we worked. Okay, so we're just gonna pick up speed a little bit because we did um, spend some time on the half double crochet. And again, if you need to do the slow motion feature on YouTube, you can slow it way, way down if you need to see this slower. But for now, we're just going to work these half double crochets all the way across our row. Okay, so just keep going with those all the way across. just like that. Now, you can use these in the kitchen. These also make wonderful gifts. 
You can use them as washcloths. They make uh, lovely gifts for a baby as well. Okay, so we're coming up to the end here and we have our last stitch. And then, remember we did our turning chain and flipped our work? We're going to work a half double crochet into that turning chain, uh, the top of that turning chain as well, okay? So just work your last half double crochet into that turning chain. So row two is complete. Now like I mentioned before, row two is the row you'll repeat over and over and over again for the rest of your dishcloth. What I like to do is to make my dishcloth the same width and height. So you can uh, keep working until your washcloth or dishcloth is as tall as you want it to be wide. I'm gonna work a couple more rows and then we're gonna learn how to um, add a new color, okay? So I'm gonna work a few more rows of row two, just repeating row two, and then we'll put some pink in here and see how that looks. Okay, I worked a few more rows of our aqua and now let's switch to the pink. This is uh, four rows in case you're wondering. Now you can switch colors whenever you want. You could do half aqua, half another color. Um, you could do one row per color. It's totally up to you. This is where you can really get creative. So what we're gonna do is cut the yarn when you're ready to switch colors. And then you're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook and just pull that loop all the way through, okay? Just like that. Now grab your next color. I'm gonna grab the pink so you can see it really well. And what we're gonna do is take our hook and where you left off that last stitch there, that last loop of the row, you're gonna put your hook back in there, grab the new yarn and sort of hook it onto your hook like this and then pull it through, okay? Then what you're gonna do is just tie it right on. Now, if you get into crocheting and you crochet more, there's lots of different ways to join new yarn, um, but this is a really easy way to do it, okay? So these tails we can sort of get out of the way for right now. And then what you're gonna do is put your hook back into that spot where you just tied that new yarn on. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of scoop up the yarn and bring up a loop and now you're ready to begin a new row. So let's just get started on the new row. Again, we're just repeating row two, which we've already done and you've already seen. And if you need to go back and watch it, definitely feel free. But I'll just get you started with a new color so you can see. So to begin uh, a new row, remember we're repeating row two, you're going to chain two, one, two, flip your work over, and now you're ready to keep working, okay? So work your half double crochet in that first stitch and in every stitch across, okay? And you can see when you start switching colors and adding new colors, how it just really comes to life and it's a lot of fun. So now you could do just one thin little stripe. You could make your stripes the same width as you did the aqua. It's really up to you. So go um, be creative with your colors and, um, share your work too using the hashtag sparkle and splatter to um, show everybody what you've done and um, we're going to continue working our rows and then when we rejoin I'm going to show you how to add an optional little loop at the top if you want to hang your dishcloth up to, for drying like on a little hook or something and we're also going to learn how to deal with these ends, okay? So it looks really neat and finished looking. So keep going. Work row two over and over and over with your colors of your choice. And when we rejoin, we're going to finish this up. We can add a loop on here and deal with these ends. Okay, I've been working my dishcloth rows. And I'm just on that very last stitch. So I'm going to just work that last stitch. And then what we're going to do... If this is completely optional. If you want to end your dishcloth now, what you can do is wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it all the way through and fasten off. But if you'd like to add a loop to hang it to dry, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So let me show you first how to fasten it off if you just wanna make it loopless, if you will. So wrap the yarn around the hook and just pull it all the way through and tighten, okay? And then you'll have your nice square dishcloth, okay? Let me pull this out because I want to show you how to do a super easy loop. This is like the easiest loop ever. 
and it looks cute too. So let me just get my hook back in my stitch. We're gonna pretend like we just did that last stitch. So what we wanna do for our loop is we're going to chain eight. So wrap the yarn around the hook and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if you want a really big loop or a little tiny loop, just play around with the number of chains that you do. Now we're gonna go right back into that same stitch where we began, right at the bottom there, see that loop? And we're gonna go down and we're gonna work a slip stitch. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So go back down with your hook. Whoops, and our, we have just barely enough yarn here. We really uh, got lucky here. So wrap the yarn, we're gonna, again, go down into that same loop at the bottom, wrap the yarn around the hook, bring up a loop, and now you have this loop and this loop on your hook. Bring that first loop through the loop that's already on there, and look, there's a nice little loop now. Okay, but we're not done, so wrap the yarn around the hook one more time, and then bring it through. Okay, just like that. So you have a nice secure knot and just pull it nice and tight. And I have this ball of yarn back here so you can kind of see what I'm doing because it's like white on white. It's hard to see. Okay, so we have a gorgeous dishcloth. And what you can do, because uh, when you hold it in your hand, sometimes it gets a little scrunchy. You can kind of straighten it out. But we have one more thing to do before we finish our dishcloth. And that is to take care of these ends. Let's do one together and then you'll know how to do the rest of them. Now, whenever you have something that's stripey like this, you want to stay in the same color when you weave your ends in. So let's do this aqua color first. I just uh, sent it through the eye of my needle and I'm going to go in one direction with my tail. I'm going to go right in those loops. And if you notice, before we start, let me just show you one more thing. This is reversible. It looks the same on both sides for the most part. So you wanna make sure that you kinda of go in between these loops, not too much on one side on either side because it is reversible, okay? Now, go in one direction with your needle. I'm just going nice and slow. When you do finish work like this, you wanna make sure you do it nice and neat because you spent all this time, you have all these beautiful stitches. So let me just back up a little bit. Go in one direction with your needle and pull tight so that loop's not hanging out. Not too tight because it'll scrunch it up, but just nice and snug. Then before you pull this out, go back in the other direction because that will help lock your little yarn tail into place a little bit better if you come back in the other direction, okay? So just go back in the other direction with your tail. Just like that. And then, I'll just grab my scissors here. Grab a little pair of scissors and just snip that tail. You can give it a tiny little tug because when you snip it, smooth it out, it will disappear. So what you'll wanna do is for the rest of these tails, um, go ahead and weave those in the same way I just showed you for those. Now, make sure you send this aqua tail through the aqua section of your project and send this pink tail through the pink section of your project and so forth. So our little dishcloth is finished. It looks wonderful and it was easy and quick to make. You can make a bunch of these in all kinds of different colors and experiment with all the striping or they even make variegated, which is uh, flex of color or self-striping where the stripes happen for you. So experiment with all the different cotton yarns out there. It's really fun. So that is how you make an easy crochet dishcloth, even with a loop. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click that subscribe button to get all the latest Sparkle and Splatter video updates. Thanks again.